In this After Effects tutorial, I'll show you how to create this kinetic type loop. Hey everyone, my name is Manuel. We'll animate font weights, use time remapping to offset the animation, and add a few more standard effects to create a unique style. Alright, let's dive right in. First of all, let's add some text. We use the type tool to add it. Animation. I use BioSuns, which is available on Adobe Fonts. Size 240 pixels, color white and the font style extra bold, all capitals. You can use any font you want, of course, you should use a font with lots of different font styles to get enough contrast between the two whites. In the paragraph tool, let's left align the text. And with align, we align the layer to the center of the comp. Next, we duplicate the text layer, change the color into anything but white, and change the font style into extra light in my case for the highest possible contrast. As you can see, the positions of the letters don't really match, so we adjust the letter spacing or tracking. Let's start at the beginning. With the title tool selected, we click into the text layer left of the A. Hold Option or Alt if you're using a PC. And with the right arrow key, we move the A slightly to the right. Then we move on to the next letters and adjust the tracking until all the thin letters are on top of the bold ones. Next, we right-click on one of the text layers, go to Create and Create Shapes from Text. Same with the other one. Then we open the contents property of the layer with the thin letters. We need to go through all letters and add path keyframes for all paths at one frame. Some letters, like the A, have two paths. We go to one frame, add keyframes. Why at one frame? You'll see later. Awesome! Then we go to 13 frames in the timeline. Let's change the color of the shape to white first of all. We open the contents property of the layer with the bold letters. Add a keyframe for each path at 13 frames in the timeline. Copy it and paste it to the thin letter which is at the same position at 13 frames. Select the path in this case, two paths, and paste them. And this animation basically morphs a thin letter into a bold one. We repeat that with all the other letters. Add a keyframe, copy it, and paste it to the thin letter path. Then we press U to see all keyframes in the timeline. We hide the layer with the bold letters. Awesome! We open the graph editor to edit the speed graph. Select all points and add easy ease. Then we slow down the beginning and end even more. Next, we offset the animations by three frames. The A at the beginning stays. Then we go through letter by letter. Keep in mind that some letters have two shapes. Awesome! The first half of the animation. We select all keyframes, copy them and paste them further to the right. Then move them left so that the last keyframe is at 2 seconds. We right click on one of them, go to keyframe assistant and time reverse the keyframes. And we inverted the first part of the animation. Awesome! Before we move on, let's check out an amazing animation course by Domestica. Learn how to create expressive typography in motion with After Effects. Design letter forms in Illustrator and animate them in After Effects. Start with research and references, color, then design a lettered phrase in Illustrator. In After Effects, animate it using kinetic typography. I've added the link to this course and all animation courses to the description. And even better, use the code MANUALDESMOTION10 for an extra 10% off. Finally, we add a marker at one frame, where the first keyframe is, and at 2 seconds, which is the end of the animation. We select the comp in the project window and move it down onto the comp symbol to add it to a new composition, which we name Text Animation. We duplicate the comp 5 times, so that we have 6 lines of text all together. We move one of them to the top, one of them to the bottom. Select all of them 
and we use a line to distribute them vertically. Then we need to get the layer stacking order right. The top layer should be the first line, the second layer, the second line, and so on. Next, we select the top layer, right click on it, and in time, we choose Enable Time Remapping, which sets two keyframes, one at the beginning and one at the end. The actual animation happens in between the two markers we have set, so we add two more keyframes, where the markers are. And that's new in After Effects 23, let's give them a different label color, like green. We go to the beginning, copy all keyframes, and paste them to the other layers. At the moment, all animations happen at the same time. By selecting the green keyframes and moving them to the right, we offset the animation. Let's do that for all the other layers. And it looks like that. Awesome! Much more interesting. Let's add an animated texture. To give it a unique style, we add an adjustment layer, shift command or control Y, and add turbulent displays. Use the effects and presets window to find it. We set amount to 10, size to 10, and complexity to 10. Then we animate the evolution with an expression. Hold Alt or Option while clicking on the stopwatch. We reduce the frame rate, posterize time, and 8 in parentheses, semicolon. Then we add time asterisk 1000. And the letters got a slightly animated scribbled look. Awesome! Then we select the text animation comp in the comp window and add it to a new comp again. Let's name it type loop. Now we need to create an animated looping luma mat that hides parts of the text. We do that by adding a new solid. We name it mat, color doesn't matter. Move it below the comp and add fractal noise. Because you can create loops with it, which you can't with turbulent noise. We set the noise type to block, contrast to 1750, brightness to minus 140. In transform, we deselect uniform scaling and set the scale width to 500, scale height to 1500, complexity to 1. In evolution options, we activate cycle evolution, which turns it into a loop. We animate the evolution with a keyframe at the beginning, then go to one frame after the last frame of the comp, and set it to two complete revolutions, with no degrees. Awesome, a seamless loop. We use it as inverted luma track mat for the text comp. Click on the left field to turn it into a luma mat, the right field inverts it. We duplicate the text comp and uncheck this invert field here, which makes the text complete again. But we add CC ball action to the top comp. Set grid spacing to 2, ball size to 30. Alright, let's add one more level of motion. We add a displacement map. We use the animated mat as displacement map layer. Effects and presets. Max horizontal displacement 20, no vertical displacement. This is an additional detail that makes it even better. Awesome! Since we are at it, let's duplicate the mat layer and quickly make some background noise out of it. We name the layer noise and adjust some of the settings. Brightness minus 880, scale width and height each 50, complexity 5. And we add posterize time and reduce the frame rate to 4. Check out the free project file and make sure to join my newsletter for more content. On the left side, I've added some videos you might like. Thanks for watching this one. See you in the next one. Bye, guys!